The Hiller flying platform was built and flown to prove a technical concept still valid for future high-speed vertical takeoff aircraft. Although some Army aviation planners were interested in the remarkable aircraft as an observation vehicle, the flying platform was seen by Hiller Aircraft Corporation designers as a step toward creating augmented thrust for vertical takeoff high-speed vehicles. The platform's innovation was the duct surrounding its contra-rotating propellers. Air drawn over the rim of the duct provided 40% of the aircraft's thrust, with the remaining 60% created by the props inside. Flying platform control was no less remarkable. The pilot simply leaned in the direction he wanted to fly. This kinesthetic control idea came from NASA genius Charlie Zimmerman, who introduced it in 1947 with his flying shoes. The pilot of that device was lifted by conventional rotors beneath his feet. Hiller aircraft experiments with ducted fan propulsion came together with Zimmerman shoes, resulting in the flying platform, first flown by Hiller test pilot Phil Johnston in 1954. The platform was funded by the U.S. Army. Not yet permitted by the government to handle its own aviation development programs, the project was overseen by the Office of Naval Research. Cognizant of the need to please both agencies, Hiller painted half the duct U.S. Army olive drab and the other half navy blue. Six different flying platforms were built, powered by two and three engine configurations. A seventh aircraft, a prototype coleopter ring wing design, capable of both hovering and high speed flight, was flown in the mid 1950s. Additional development for the Army and Office of Naval Research included a large four duct flying crane a flying jeep personnel carrier, and wind tunnel tests of a high-speed ring-wing design. This high bypass ratio technology pioneered by the flying platform, linked with today's advanced turbine engine technology, may well provide the more gentle downwash velocities and efficiencies needed in future high-speed vertical takeoff and landing aircraft.